This NHL rookie just shocked Team Canada. Latvia and Canada competed for a spot in the finals in the IIHF to play Germany who beat Team USA. And in a tight 2-2 game, Canada was looking for someone to set up and Adam Fantilli, the second ranked NHL prospect behind Bedard, did this. He waits for the defender to commit with a poke check and upon trying to make up for it, he brings the puck back to his forehand to beat the defender and unleash a wicked shot to score the game winner for Team Canada. And for those of you who aren't keeping up with him, Fantilli plays a rough but evasive game. He's also got a very good shot. Check out some of his highlights and you can see how his quick release makes dangerous work for his opponents. As soon as the puck is on his stick, he gets it off with speed and accuracy. We've seen this with players like Tuchuk and Austin Matthews in the NHL and this is a lethal advantage to have over any opponent. He's also got size and many have compared his draft profile to that of Eric Lindros. But before I get into the highlights, I'll be covering the entirety of this game against Latvia and the finals game against Germany that wins Canada gold for those who missed it. Then I'll be giving you some of my thoughts and a breakdown on this NHL prospect. So be sure to stay till the end and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the video. Now this goal was absolutely crucial for Canada as it was a tight game between these two teams with Latvia scoring first after a point shot and a scramble in front. There were chances throughout the first and Canada just couldn't tie it up early, but later in the second, this happened with Sammy Blake. He's been remarkable throughout this tournament for Canada, and he scores off a beautiful backhand saucer pass to tie up the game. Then Latvia responds just a minute later, with a swift cut to the inside and a bullet pass Montembeau shocks the whole building. Instant responses like this one can easily shatter the confidence and momentum of a team, but Canada responds off a crazy angle goal that nobody was expecting. From behind the goal line comes a shot from Quinn off the goalie's helmet and in the net for an electric game tying goal, and this is when Fantilli steals the show. Sure. Look at this attack the triangle. The this goal was something special and really exciting to see from Fantilli as we anticipate his debut in the NHL. Fantilli's goal wins Canada the game and now we can take a look at the finals match between Germany and Canada. We're a bit late but Germany opens the scoring off a snapshot and Canada responds with Sammy Bly getting fed a sweet dish and we're tied at 1. But then after that Canada just pours it on Germany to win 5-2 and the gold medal. Now we can talk about Fantilli. This upcoming 2023 draft is feeling a lot like 2015's McDavid and Eichel 1-2 punch. In most other drafts, Fantilli is going first no question, but it just happens to be one of those years where there's yet another young star in the making and he's projected now to be taken second overall. This kid's got a very good shot at being a number one center in the NHL, upwards from 80 to 90 points, but at the end of the day, a lot of NHL player development and success comes down to who finds themselves in the best situations. Good line mates? good power play structure, time on ice, etc. This draft will be exciting to see because you're getting a hell of a player in either Bedard or Fantilli. One thing to keep in mind about these young players though that many people seem to miss is that the first year in the league means nothing. If we're talking about longevity and overall career success, some players can start off on fire and drop off, others take time to develop. So we won't really know the depth of the potential until later on in their careers. A lot of it has to do with how the franchise chooses to develop their players. But with that being said, I am really excited to see Fantilli play and if you don't know him now, you will soon. And the last thing I wanted to touch on was a special moment for Latvian fans who witnessed their team celebrate their first medal at a major IIHF tournament. It was such a special moment for the country that over 150,000 people came together outside to celebrate and their victory over USA became a national holiday. There's just another reason out of a million to love this sport. Thank you guys for watching. It's Cappy and I'm out.